sequences and series, 9.3, okay? Geometric um, sequence, okay? You guys have done this before. Well, you should have with Mrs. Ferguson. A geometric sequence. A sequence is geometric when the ratios of consecutive terms are the same. So the ratios are the same. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we're like if I have A2 over A1, it's equal to A3 over A2, which would be equal to A4 over A3, which equals your ratio. Your ratio cannot equal zero. Okay. So if they want a sequence whose n term is 2 to the n, okay, the sequence whose nth term is 2 to the n is geometric. Okay. For this sequence, the common ratio between consecutive terms is what? What would be my common sequence if I had um, the numbers 2, 4, um, 8, 16? What would be my common sequence? How would I set that up? Yep, I would say 4 over 2, and what else would I say? 8 over 4, eight over four <coughs> and 16 over 4, and what do all of them reduce down to? What? 2. Is to 2. Right to, to 16, uh, 16 eight over 8, sorry. And they all reduce down to 2. So my nth term would be 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 squared um, is 16. It keeps going. So those are your common ratio, your common um, term in your geometric sequence. <clears throat> what if I have this? The sequence whose nth term is 4, parentheses, 3 to the n. Okay. And it says that it is geometric. Okay. For the sequence, the common ratio between consecutive terms is what? If I have these numbers, 12, um, actually we're going to do it this way. We're going to start by figuring out what the sequence is. So to start out by figuring out the sequence, you start with the number 1 and plug it into n. If I plug 1 into n, what do you get out? Yeah. No. You get 12, because 3 to the first is 3, 3 times 4 is 12. <laughs> if you plug else, in a 2, what do you get out? 3 squared is 9, and 9 times 4 is 36. If you plug in a 3, 3 cubed is what? And what's 27 times 4? Uh, 3 cubed is 27. 27 times 4 is? Okay. Well, you're doing, you're plugging 3 in for the n power. 108. 108. And let's do one more. 4, 3 to the 4th is what? 3 to the 4th. Wow. No. no, 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 no. 81. Is 81 and 81 times 4 is? 81 times 4. 324. Now we can figure out what our geometric series is, what our sequence is by doing what? What do I need to do to figure out my geometric series now? Guys, what do I need to do to figure out my geometric series now? Yes, put them in fraction form. So 36 over 12 and 108 over 36. And 324 over 108. What do all of those reduce down to? Three or four. 
It's three. It's three. Okay, so you're going to have to plug numbers in on some of them and get outputs. They're not going to just give you the outputs. And then you're going to have to find the sequence after that, off of that. Okay. Um, what happens if I have this? We're going to do one with fractions. What happens if I have negative one-third to the nth power? Okay. So we start with plugging in. One. What do you get when you plug one into negative one third to the nth power? Negative one third. What do you get when you plug in a two? What is one squared? One. And what is negative three squared? Nine. Nine. One. So you get one ninth. What happens when you plug in a three? What's one cubed? One. One. And what's negative three cubed? Three times three fourths. How about negative twenty seven? It goes negative, positive, negative. If I plug in a four, what's one to the fourth? One. And what's three to the fourth negative three to the fourth? 108. 108, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my pattern here is going from negative to positive, negative to positive, because anytime I have an even power, the negatives cancel because they multiply together. Anytime I have an odd power, I'm left with a negative. Now I have to figure out my geometric sequencing, which means I'm going to have a fraction over a fraction. So I'm going to have 1 ninth over negative 1 third. And I'm going to have negative 1 27th over 1 9th. And I'm going to have 1 over 108 over negative 1 27th. Now, what would be my geometric <coughs> sequencing there? Not three. Not three. 1 over 3. 1 over 3. Yeah, but it's going to be a negative because all of these have one negative in them. So it's negative one third. Negative one third. To get the fraction out of the denominator spot, remember we flip and multiply by negative three over one, negative three over one. And when that happens, this cancels down here, leaving me with negative three over nine, okay, which reduces down to that negative one third. That's how we come up with that. Okay, so geometric sequencing. Um, some sequences are not geometrical, which means when I put them into the fraction form, if they don't come out to be the same ratios, such as 1, 4, 9, and 6. They want to know if this is geometrical, 1, 4, 9, and 6. Well, if I put 4 over 1, and I put 9 over 4, and I put... 6 over 9, do those reduce down to the same thing? No, so I would simply just say not geometrical. Okay. So you might get some that are not geometric. Um, there is a pattern for sequencing, for geometric sequencing. And the nth term of the geometric sequence has the form like this. A of n equals A of 1, okay, um, raised to the n minus 1. Your n always stands for the number you're plugging in. So if I'm plugging in a 2, if I'm plugging in a 1, if I'm plugging in anything. Why is that not geometrical? Because it doesn't have the same ratios. Four over one isn't the same ratio as nine over four. They have to have the same ratio. Okay, so this is the formula for the nth term of a geometric series or sequence. Nth term of a geometric sequence. Okay. From there, 
We're almost done with today's part of this. Okay. From there, it says, starting with three, repeat, um, it says, write the first five terms of the geometric sequence whose first term is A1 equals three. Okay. And then it says, and whose common ratio is two. Ratio equals two, want the first five sequence. Okay. I want the first five sequence and I have A1 equals 3 and the ratio equals 2. What do you think I'm going to do? A N equals 3 and this is A2. Okay, so you want to use this right here? Yeah. Okay, A of N equals A1 to the N minus 1. Okay, so A1 in this case is what number? 3. 3. So it's A N equals 3. What is my ratio? It is two, okay? My ratio is gonna go right here. Ratio to the n minus one. My ratio is going to plug in here in this case because I know what it is. So two to the n minus one. Um, so n minus one, if I plug in a two to figure out what term two is, because I have term one, I need a two. That's what goes here, okay? So if I need a two, then I have n minus one so I have 2 minus 1 here for power. What's 2 minus 1? Mm. 1. So 2 to the first power is 2, and 2 times 3 equals 6. If I want to do a 3, I do the same thing. 3 times 2 to the 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Wait, why did that change to an a? because I'm finding the third term. Second term, third term, now I'm gonna make an A4, finding the fourth term. The first term is still three, my ratio is still two, so then I have four minus one. Four minus one is three, two cubed is what? Two cubed. Yes, eight. And eight times three is what? 24. And then it wants the first five, so I just need to find a five after that. Three, two, five minus one equals five minus one is four. What's two to the fourth? Sixteen. What's sixteen times three? Sixteen times four. Mm -hmm. Forty-eight. Now I have the first five terms. They gave me term one, and I found terms two through five. Okay, so you might have to do that. That's where we're going to stop today on this lesson. We'll pick up on it tomorrow some more. Thanks, Yes.